Welcome to Overflow Church. We're so excited you could be here today, and we hope you have a great time and feel at home. Here are some announcements and ways you can stay connected. Hey guys, we don't mind at all if you guys use your cell phone during service or whatever mobile device you have. Just be sure to check it on Facebook, hashtag on Twitter. Let's just get the name of Overflow out there, and we're glad you're here with us today. Don't forget you guys can follow along with today's message at overflowdfw.com. Hey, we are so excited to announce Overflow Leadership starting September 21st. We really feel like God has put it in our heart to not just have a program for people that are leading here at Overflow, but to raise up leaders in our community, to offer training for leaders so people can go out and lead everywhere they are, whether it be in their family or whether it be in their workplace, at school, wherever it is they are, that they are leading. And so we want to invite you to the information meeting that we're going to be having on September 21st. You can find out more information at overflowdfw.com forward slash leadership. Hey ladies, I would love to see you all on the third Saturday of every month for a women's prayer group here at Overflow Church. This is a time where we come together and have breakfast and pray for each other's needs. And we just get to build these relationships with each other. So we would love to see you there. Hey guys, um, I want to invite you all to the relaunching of the Love Project this Wednesday, the September 17th at 630 we're going to be getting together for a time of prayer and just bringing the word and just really establishing what we're going to be doing this semester. We'd love to see you guys out here. That's going to be this Wednesday at 6.30. Hey everyone, we want to invite you to our house on Wednesday nights at 6.30 for community groups. We'll come together, bring some food, hang out, and provide some personal ministry to those who might be needing it. So we want to see you Wednesdays at 6.30 here at the Browns. Hey guys, I'm so excited to be introducing to you our brand new student ministry, The Flood. Um, we have so many events coming up and so many opportunities to get plugged in, and so we're going to tell you a little bit more information about the things that are coming up. And again, we're so excited, and we need all the help we can get. Hey guys, just want to invite you to the grand opening of The Flood, Thursday, September 25th, right here at the Old Flow Church. We're going to have giveaways, fellowship time. And a quick word, it's going to be awesome, and we hope that you join us. So let me tell you guys a little bit about what we're going to be doing with the flood. We're going to be going into the apartment complexes here in the area, and we're going to try to reach some of the young people that they have there. We're going to be um, just passing out food and just fellowship, just meeting different people, and we're just going to try to have a fun event. And like I said, build relationships and just get people interested in who we are and what we are. With that being said, we'd love to have you guys help. If you're interested in serving, just talk to myself, to Haley or Daniel. Um, and that's going to be the next two Saturdays coming up, Saturday the 13th and Saturday the 20th. Proverbs 3.9 says, Honor the Lord with your possessions and with the first produce of your entire harvest. Then your barns will be completely filled and your vats will overflow with new wine. In this verse, Jesus is saying to give your first fruits, which is your 10%, which is your tithe, and he will overflow your entire harvest, which is your other 90%. Many times people do not tithe because of fear. And fear is a distrust in the Lord. But over and over in scripture, it says to put your trust in the Lord. Why is this? It's because God is faithful. It's who he is. He is faithful to do exceedingly abundantly beyond what we could ever imagine. So when you are faithful to tithe, he is faithful to overflow because that's who he is. 